Welcome to Uponics Videos. In this video, we're going to talk about the six primary types of hydroponic systems. Following this overview, we will discuss the best types of hydroponics kits, which are available for purchase on Amazon. These kits are a great way to grow hydroponic crops and include just about everything you'll need to hit the ground running with your hydroponic gardening plans. So stay tuned. Before we learn about hydroponic systems, we must first understand how hydroponics works. By definition, hydroponics is a method of growing plants in a water-based and nutrient-rich solution. Another thing that differentiates hydroponics from traditional gardening is that hydroponics does not use soil. Instead, the root system is supported using an inner growing medium. Examples of these grow mediums include clay pellets, rock wool, perlite, vermiculite, coconut fiber, grow stones, and lava rocks. So why grow plants using hydroponics instead of soil? Hydroponics is a very effective method of gardening because it gives plants exactly what they need, when they need it. The grower provides the right balance of everything, including light, water, and nutrients. And this results in a plant that is as healthy as is genetically possible. There are six basic types of hydroponic systems. Wick systems, drip systems, ebb and flow, also known as flood and drain systems, deep water culture, or DWC systems, NFT, or nutrient film technique systems, and aeroponic systems. There are numerous variations on these six basic systems, but these are the most commonly used hydroponic systems. The simplest, most basic hydroponic system is the wick system. However, the systems most commonly used by home growers are drip, ebb and flow, or flood and drain, and the deep water culture systems. Then there are the nutrient film technique and aeroponic systems. These systems are less frequently used by home growers but are still popular approaches to hydroponic growing. Now, let's take a closer look at each system. Let's start with the most basic system type used in hydroponics, wicking. Wick systems are simple because there are no moving parts, which makes it a passive system. Using capillary action, a rope or fabric material draws the nutrient solution from the reservoir upward into the growing medium. This keeps the roots of the plants constantly hydrated and fed. Since there are no pumps or timers, wick systems are inexpensive to build. However, a drawback is that wicking does not work well with larger plants. This is because they require more nutrient solution than a simple rope material can provide. I've tried growing basil and parsley in mason jars using the wick method, and it was very effective. So wicking does offer beginners a great opportunity to experiment with simple hydroponics, especially if you use small plants like herbs. One of the most widely used systems in hydroponics is the drip system. The concept is simple. A slow feed of nutrient solution is dripped onto the roots or grow medium, slowly and continually supplying a plant with the health and moisture it needs. Recirculating recovery drip systems reuse and circulate the nutrient solution back to the reservoir. This ensures that the roots stay moist and healthy, but does so without flooding the grow medium, as is done in some of the other hydroponic systems. Because the nutrient solution is constantly recycled in recovery drip systems, pH levels may change with this recirculation. It's important to monitor these levels to maintain a consistent and healthy pH. To prevent roots from dying out or becoming oversaturated, slower drip systems should utilize a slow drain grow medium, such as rock wool or coconut core. Whereas uh, faster drip systems may benefit from quick drying hydroponic grow mediums, such as clay pebbles or grow stones. There are also non-recovery drip systems. These require less adjusting of pH and nutrients because the excess nutrient solution isn't recycled back into the reservoir. 
so the nutrient strength and pH of the reservoir will never vary. This means that you can fill the reservoir with pH-adjusted nutrient solution and then use it up until you need to mix a new batch. However, non-recovery drip systems can be more costly because the nutrients are not recycled. The ebb and flow system is another popular hydroponics technique. It works by temporarily flooding the grow tray with the nutrient solution. Then, the nutrient solution drains back into the reservoir. Ebb and flow is typically done with the aid of a submerged pump and timer so that when the timer turns on, the grow tray gets flooded, and when it turns off, the nutrient solution drains out of the grow bed and back into the reservoir. Bell siphons or piping in the grow beds allow the draining to occur. Since most plants benefit from these repeated cycles of wetness to dryness, ebb and flow is a highly effective and popular hydroponic method. While wicking is the simplest passive system, deep water culture is the simplest active hydroponic system. It's popular because it's effective and doesn't require many components to build. Plus, there's no need for a timer because plants' roots are constantly submerged in the nutrient solution. Deep water culture systems are typically comprised of a reservoir bucket to hold a nutrient solution, air pumps, and air stones to supply oxygen to the nutrient solution, as well as a platform of some sort to hold the plant and suspend the roots inside the reservoir. Some deep water culture growers use net cups and grow media while others do not. Nutrient film technique, or NFT, is popular with commercial growers, but less so for your average hydroponics hobbyist. This hydroponic system uses tilted, watertight gullies, or channels, to flow nutrient solution over the bare roots of plants. Pumps are used, but grow media is not required, and only the tip of the roots ever touch the nutrient solution. This growing method allows plants to receive high levels of oxygen. The main objective of using the nutrient film technique is to achieve a fast growth rate in a limited space. Larger plants and fruiting plants may not have adequate room for root mass using NFT, but this system is an effective method of starting plants or growing smaller plants like herbs. The aeroponics system is probably the most challenging and high-tech approach to hydroponics. In this approach, plants are suspended in air as nutrient solution is sprayed onto the roots. Many aeroponics growers do not use grow media or net cups because the roots are exposed to air. Misting must be done in every few minutes or else the roots will become too dry. Therefore, short duration timers are crucial to successful aeroponics. There are two types of hydroponic growers. The first type are very interested in the creative and technical aspects of hydroponic growing. They go to Home Depot or a local hardware store, maybe buy PVC piping to make their own bell siphon, buying a few things online, then piece together their own DIY hydroponic system to their specifications. It's a challenge, but it can be a lot of fun for those who are adventurous. However, projects like these can be time consuming and may end up being more expensive than buying a kit when all is said and done. So this route is not for everyone. The second type of hydroponics grower tends to be more interested in the end results, the plants, than all the technical aspects of hydroponics. What's great about most of the hydroponic system kits on the market these days is that they include most, if not all, of the things you need to start growing hydroponics plants from day one. If you're anything like me and want a system that is complete and functional without putting too much effort into the hydroponic system itself, consider purchasing a kit. It makes life a lot easier. So what are the best kits on the market? On the Uponics webpage entitled Hydroponic Systems, we select some of the best and most popular kits for each category of hydroponics. Some of the products we highlight include the following. For Wick Systems, the Kitchen Herb Kit by Modern Sprout is a popular choice for beginners. This set features three self-watering reusable planters plus cocoa pith grow medium, net pots, and basil, parsley, and mint seeds. 
For the drip systems, we highlight two products by General Hydroponics. These are the popular Water Farm Module, which includes reservoir, growing chamber, drip ring, and pumping column, and the Eco Grower Drip Hydroponics System. The Eco Grower Kit comes with a 17 gallon reservoir, spider drip system, pumping column, net cups, air pump, nutrients, and clay pebble grow media. We highlight four ebb and flow kits on our website, including Hydro Farms Active Aqua Grow Flow Ebb and Grow, which has a 55 gallon reservoir and 12 pots, although it is expandable to 48 pots. The second ebb and flow kit we list is the Oxygen Pot System Six Bucket XL System by DL Wholesale. This also includes a 55 gallon reservoir, as well as six five gallon buckets, timing control module, pumps, and other components. And finally, we feature some information on the ViaGrow Ebb and Flow Hydroponic System. This complete flood and drain kit is available in two foot by two foot and four foot by four foot. These kits include a flood tray stand, grow medium, submersible pump, timer, reservoir, and more. We profile a few of the most popular deep water culture bucket kits, including Hydro West's Aqua Buckets, which has a five bucket, four plant sites, and a reservoir, water pump, air pump, four air stones for low maintenance growing, we also highlight two bubbler bucket kits from Power Grow Systems, one with four buckets and one with eight. These also include pumps, air lines, and air stones for each bucket. For nutrient film techniques kits for hydroponics, we've included the NFT hydroponics system from GOE on our page. This kit is easy to set up and includes 36 sites for growing as well as settings for timer-controlled feed cycles. Along with the timer and frame, this kit includes pretty much everything you need except for the reservoir. And lastly, aeroponics. One of the most popular hydroponics kits for beginners is the Aero Garden manufactured by Miracle Grow. These aren't really true aeroponics systems, but they're great little kits for beginners. The kit includes seeds, fertilizer, and even timers and grow lights. You can find information about the AeroGarden Harvest and AeroGarden Extra on uponics.com on our hydroponics systems page. Other popular systems in the aeroponics category include the Rainforest 66 and AeroFlow 2, both manufactured by General Hydroponics. We also highlight Clone King's 25 site cloning machine aeroponics kit. For our full analysis of these hydroponics systems, please visit uponics.com by following the link in the description below. Also in the description below, you'll find links to check the pricing on each of these products. So if you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe for more videos like this. Now, we'd like to hear from you. Tell us about your experience with hydroponic systems and kits in the comments below. We love to hear about user experiences with these kits. Thanks for watching and good luck with your hydroponics growing.